Muhammad in the Quran and in his uh, teachings allowed his followers to beat their wives into submission, right. did he not? Exactly. And this is, the, again, with the practical consequences, um, the government, the U.S. government has, has done studies of the places where, uh, the worst places in the world to be a woman. And it's interesting that 11 of the 12 worst places in the world to be a woman in terms of the rights you have uh, are Muslim countries. 11 of the worst 12 places in the world to be a woman are Muslim majority countries. And is that a coincidence? No, because as we go through these, you see what Islam teaches about women. But the Quran commands Muslims to beat rebellious wives into submission if they don't, um, if they don't get in line after you, you yeah. warn them or punish them in other ways. So let me go ahead and read the verse, and then we'll see how this plays out um, in the Hadith. Chapter 4, verse 34 of the Quran says, Men are in charge of women because Allah hath made the one of them to excel the other. So men are superior to women. And because they spend of their property for the support of women. So good women are obedient, guarding in secret that which Allah hath guarded. As for those from whom ye fear rebellion. Notice it doesn't say as for those who rebel. It says as for those from whom ye fear rebellion. All you have to do is say, hey, I'm worried about this wife doing something against me. As for those from whom ye fear rebellion, admonish them and banish them to beds apart and scourge them. Mm. Then, if they obey you, seek not a way against them. Lo, Allah is ever high, exalted, great. So if your wife gets out of line, um, some people say this is all one lump thing. You can, you can just pick whichever punishment you think uh, fits the crime. Uh, others have a little ordering to it. So it's first you warn them, then you banish them to beds apart. And finally, if they don't listen before that, then you scourge them. You beat them until they listen to you. Now, Sam, yeah. westernized Muslims, yeah, a lot right. of westernized Muslims, they don't like this verse. So what do they do? They try and, and, and Yusuf Ali's translation, uh, he even inserts the word lightly yeah. in parentheses Improving there. Improving the is Quran, not, right? Yeah, yeah, he has to improve the Quran because you don't want people thinking they can just go beat their wives senseless here. Uh, so we have to say it's beating them lightly. Now, what's the problem with that exactly. is that we have not only the Quran, we yeah. have the Hadith as well. We have, remember, uh, majority Muslims follow not just the Quran, but the son of Muhammad, how he implemented the, the Quran, right? Now, here's an example of how Muhammad implements the ruling of the Quran. This is from Sal Bukhari. Lest we be accused of quoting a weak Hadith, Sal Bukhari is considered the second most authentic book, um, second only to the Quran in terms of authority and authenticity. Sal Bukhari, volume 7, <clears throat> Volume 7, number 715. The, the hadith number is number 715. Let me read it. Narrated Ikrama, volume 7, number 715. Narrated Ikrama, Rifa' divorced his wife, whereupon Abdurrahman bin Az Zubair, wow, Al Qurayzi, married her. Wow, say that five times fast, right? Aisha said that the lady came wearing a green veil and complained to her of her husband and showed her a green spot on her skin caused by the beating. Did you hear that, David? Mm -hmm. A green spot on her skin caused by beating. Does that sound like he got, she got beat lightly? No. <clears throat> it was the habit of ladies to support each other. So when Allah's apostle came, Aisha said, I have not seen, pay attention to this, I have not seen any woman suffering as much as the believing woman. Of all the women out there, Muslim women had it the worst. And, and the, the, the reason this is important is because Western Muslims will tell women how wonderful is uh, women, uh, what a, what a yeah. wonderful position it women have in Islam. Women. And this is not just any woman. This is Aisha, the mother of the faithful, you got it. saying that Muslim women were treated worse by their Muslim husbands under the leadership of Muhammad than pagan women were being treated. Precisely. Exactly. And you Very can't different say, uh, from what we hear here. And you can't say this is just any Joe Schmo. She's considered one of the greatest Muslim scholars that ever lived. Mm -hmm. In fact, they say the reason, one of the reasons why Muhammad married her at such a young age is so that she could acquire this wealth of information yeah. that proved beneficial to later generations. Mm -hmm. So you can't just poo-poo this tradition. Mm -hmm. Now look what she says. Look, her skin is greener than her clothes. Remember she had worn a green veil? A green, mm -hmm. green veil? Her skin is greener than her clothes. When Abdurrahman heard that his wife had gone to the Prophet, he came with his two sons from another wife. She said, by Allah, I have done no wrong to him, but he is impotent and he's useless to me as this, holding and showing the fringe of her garment. 
he beats her because she accuses him of being impotent. Now, maybe what the husband did is wrong. Maybe Muhammad rebuked him. So let's see what Muhammad does. Abdul Rahman said, By Allah, O Allah's Apostle, she has told a lie. I am very strong and can satisfy her, but she's disobedient. Remember what that he says? If you fear rebellion on their part, you can then admonish them or ban banish them to, to another bed or beat them. And she wants to go back to, her, to Rifa, her former husband. Allah's Apostle said to her, If that is your intention, then know that it is unlawful for you to remarry Rifa unless Abdul Rahman has had sexual intercourse with you. Then the Prophet saw the two boys of Abdul Rahman, right? And then he says this to her, uh, to him, are these your sons? I'm sorry. On that, Abdul Rahman said, yes. The Prophet said, you claim what you claim, that he's impotent, but by Allah, these boys resemble him as a crow resembles a crow. Did you catch what he did? Didn't rebuke him. Didn't uh, silence him. Didn't tell him, how dare you beat her so badly. Did you not know that the beating had to be light? He rebukes her for accusing him of being impotent and, and does nothing to correct him for the excessive beating. In other words, Muhammad said, well, you're, you're speaking ill of your husband, and therefore what? You deserve exactly what you get. That's the Quranic punishment. So right. your husband hasn't done anything wrong. So she got what she deserved, according got to it. Islam. Yep. Now, here in the U.S., if you hit a woman, uh, you'll go to jail for that if the police, police find out about it. If you leave... If you beat her until her skin turns green, you're in all kinds of trouble, right? You're in all kinds of trouble. Uh, but all you have to do, I guess, in a, in a Muslim country is say, hey, 